Good morning, dear children. We are going to begin with a science class. Lesson number one: Plants preparing and storing food. Before we learn the new topic, let us revise what we have learned in the last week class. Children, we have learned about the presence of green color substance in the leaf called chlorophyll. Green leaves need air water and sunlight to prepare their food green leaves prepare their food in the form of sugar and gives out oxygen this process of preparation of food in the green leaves is known as photosynthesis we have also learnt about the part of the leaf the main vein and its function which carry water and minerals to all the cells of the leaf we have learned about stomata present in the lower surface of the leaf we have also learned how plant stores its extra food in the form of starch in leaves stems and roots we have also learned about some unusual plants like cactus mushrooms and molds now today we are going to learn about some simple experiments to detect the presence of starch in the green leaf why sunlight and chlorophyll is important for the process of photosynthesis of course we are going to perform these experiments in our school laboratory but for now we will learn the steps to perform these experiments now let us learn the steps involved in detecting the presence of starch in leaf step 1 pick a fallen green leaf of a healthy plant bleach the leaf by first boiling it in water and then in alcohol children alcohol is a liquid which help in removing the green color of chlorophyll from the leaf till the leaf loses its green color then wash it in cold water now add a few drops of iodine over it iodine is a chemical substance which found in sea water or sea weeds and used in the medicines or in laboratory you will observe when you add iodine to the bleached leaf it will turn blue black this shows that starch is present in the green leaf now we will learn the experiment 2 that is Why sunlight needed for photosynthesis? Step one: Take a healthy potted plant and keep it in the dark for about twenty-four hours. Step two: Cover one of the leaves partially with a strip of black paper. Keep the plant out in the sunlight. for 4 to 5 hours step 3 again the same procedure bleach the covered leaf by first in boiling water and then in alcohol step 4 wash it in cold water add a few drops of iodine you will notice the part of the leaf that was covered with black paper does not turn blue black that means this part of the leaf does not contain starch because it did not get the sunlight this shows that sunlight is needed for photosynthesis Now we are going to learn the third experiment. It is to detect the need of chlorophyll for photosynthesis. 
Step 1. Take a coleus leaf. It is a leaf which is having green patches or spots on its surface. Draw an outline on a sheet of paper. Mark the green and non-green areas. Step 2. Bleach the leaf by first boiling it in water and then in alcohol. Step 3. Then wash it in cold water and add a few drops of iodine. Step 4. With the help of the paper outline, find out which part of the leaf turn blue-black. The part of the leaf which are green in color shows the presence of starch. This shows that the green substance that is chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesis. Conclusion Thus, in this way, it is proved that for the process of photosynthesis, presence of chlorophyll and sunlight is necessary.